You know, I have a thought that I can't really prove in Scripture, but I think one of the reasons God changed things from the law of the Old Testament to the gospel of the New was to test us, to see if, he would, if we would trust him. The law had existed for centuries before Jesus. Then when Jesus came, he brought the gospel and said we should only believe it and live it. I wonder if God doesn't test us to see if we'll follow Jesus and trust him and believe what he says. Paul calls the law of the law the ministry of condemnation. This can mean the ministry of guilt. The law hits us right between the eyes with sin. We are told there is now no condemnation if we are in Christ and his gospel. But when we live by the law, it'll produce condemnation and guilt in us, even though we're not meant to live in it. This is part of the test. If we insist on living by law, then God says we will live in condemnation and guilt. You know, living by law has the effect of blocking any revelation of God's love for us, which is what we talked about in the first session. If we're living in law, God's love is evicted from our lives. If we see ourselves as under law and under sin, our reasoning is that God really can't love us. I mean, how can God love a bad person? So it also follows that we really can't be sure we're saved, right? We can't grow and develop in living other aspects of the gospel if we're living in law. This is because law blocks us from knowing God's unconditional love and, our, and being totally sure of our salvation. The law does a head trip on us. It really hurts us. Thus, Father sent Jesus with the gospel to bless our socks off with everything that he has in his kingdom. Everything is ours, Paul says. Living by law really does a number on us that we can't overcome. It seems like we're buried under piles of what might be called religious doo-doo, things that we should do and shouldn't do. We can't get out from underneath all the doo-doo that we're under. Thus Paul says we're cursed if we live by the Old Testament law. He calls us fools if we live by it. Now these sessions on the law will show that God says about us not living in the Old Testament law. And then after these sessions on the law, we'll talk about how much of a benefit the gospel of the new covenant is to us. But just remember, as I said last time, in order to live unto God, we must be dead to the law. Amen.